The key to reading Jack and the Beanstalk well is the voices. Jack is a boy, so his voice will be a little high and like a boy, like, What will you give me for the cow? He's very positive. His mum, maybe you make it a bit sharper, like, What have you done? They're not magic beans! You need to make her really emotional. She's not happy. She's not angry, but she's like, oh, come on, ah, oh, Jack, Jack. And then there's the lady giant, the wife. I think she's got a very loud voice, but it's, it's not deep. It's just loud. And then there's the giant, the, the man giant, and he's like, Fee, fi, fo, fum. So you need to make it a very round, loud sound for the for the giant. So that's the voices. There's also a lot of suspense. Sometimes it's dramatic and quiet. Sometimes it's dramatic and fast. You need to follow the pace of the action in the story with the pace of your voice. And you can do a good job with Jack and the Beanstalk. Once upon a time, there lived a very poor woman and her son, Jack. All they had was a cow. One morning, Jack's mother told Jack to take the cow to the market and sell it. On the way, Jack met a man. The man wanted to buy Jack's cow. Jack asked, What will you give me for the cow? The man answered, I will give you these five magic beans. So Jack gave away the cow and took the magic beans home. When Jack got home, his mother cried. What have you done? They're not magic beans. She took the beans and threw them out the window. The next morning, Jack looked out the window and saw a large green beanstalk that reached up into the clouds. He started to climb the beanstalk. He climbed up and up into the sky and through the clouds. He saw a beautiful huge castle. As he walked toward the castle, he met a beautiful fairy. The fairy told Jack a story. A giant had stolen a bag of coins from Jack's mother a long time ago. She told Jack to take back the gold coins, and then disappeared. As Jack reached the big doors of the castle, he met the giant's wife. He asked her for some dinner. Jack was so tired after climbing up the tall beanstalk. You must eat fast, she said. If the giant sees you, he will eat you! Jack started to eat dinner. Then he heard a loud thump, thump, thump of heavy footsteps. Just as the giant walked in the door, the wife hid Jack in the oven. The giant sniffed the air and roared. Fee, fi, fo, fum, I smell a human. It's just your dinner, said his wife. The giant ate his dinner in one huge swallow. Then he roared, fetch my gold coins. The wife brought his bag of gold coins. He laughed out loud, thinking about how he had stolen the coins long ago. The giant fell asleep, counting 
the coins. As the giant slept, Jack grabbed the bag of coins and ran out of the castle toward the beanstalk. As he ran, the bag of coins made loud clink, clink, clink sounds. The giant woke up and chased after Jack. Jack could hear the thump, thump, thump of the giant's feet. Jack climbed down the beanstalk as fast as he could. When he almost reached the ground, he called for his mother to bring an axe. He took the axe and with one chop, he cut the beanstalk in two. The giant crashed into the ground and died. Jack and his mother used the gold to live happily ever after.